The Filipino community in Winnipeg is mourning the death of a 17-year-old boy who was killed over the weekend in a brutal home invasion. According to police, the attack was completely random, and people say they are saddened but also shaken. Well, I'm quite worried because I myself have children as well. I have three boys, and so far for a long time, I always thought that this is the place where I belong and I'm safe over here, but of what's going on, it really worries me. There was a small vigil last night to remember 17-year-old Jamie Adao. The vigil organizer says his death has hit members of the Filipino community very hard. Marion Kloak reports on that. Police say the teenage boy living in this house on McGee Street called 911 around 9 Sunday night when he heard someone trying to break in. The boy was at home with his grandmother, studying. His parents had gone out. Constable Rob Carver listened to the tape of the 911 call. Well, I, I can tell you that there was a, um, a very calm and collected young man on the phone for the bulk of the phone call, and, uh, and it turned into a... Uh, um, an absolutely gut-wrenchingly tragic event. Terrell Pichet lives across the street. He describes the family as sweet and caring. He says he saw one officer checking the yard of the McGee house Sunday night, and then a few seconds later, more police. It just happened all too fast. It was like two officers like come over here, speeding down, and then I'm, uh, they, they hit the brakes, and like they just like get out real quick, and then, then they hop over that fence over there. When police got inside, they found the boy being assaulted by an intruder with a weapon. But police won't say what that weapon was. Police shot the 29-year-old attacker. Both were taken to hospital in critical condition. The grandmother wasn't hurt. The boy, 17-year-old Jamie Adao, died. Constable Rob Carver says everyone is traumatized, including police. It's inconceivable to me as a parent uh, what what this must be like. Everyone in our organization, including the officers involved and officers who supported after, uh, the call takers who uh, took this call, um, and, and the homicide unit itself, I can tell you I met with investigators this morning and I have never met, uh, met them looking as grave and as heartbroken as they were today. Police say the boy never knew his attacker, who was well known to them. Adao is described as very popular, well liked. A strong student at Techbach High School set to graduate this year. Support teams are at the school to help students and staff cope. Friends say Adao's parents own this bakery on Bannatine. The family was contacted by CBC and asked for privacy. The suspect is in critical condition in hospital. The shooting is now under investigation by the police watchdog called the Independent Investigation Unit. Marianne Kloak, CBC News, Winnipeg.